Hi folks, Brian Hollock from Northwind Training Center. Uh, on this episode of uh, Gear Talk, uh, we're here and we're going to talk about holsters and uh, some factors that you want to think about in your holster component system. And uh, note that I call it a holster component system. It's not one thing. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, now, one of the things people ask me about is, listen, uh, what kind of holster should I get? And what I tell you is, it depends a lot on the application that you're going to use the, uh, for the holster. Um, there's, generally speaking, two genres of holster out there right now. One is the, uh, the genre of holster that's uh, predominantly leather, and then there's the genre that's predominantly kydex or plastic. And now there is a, a sort of hybrid of the two uh, that you're finding where they're mixing both leather components for the, the comfort and then the, the kydex and the plastic components for the rigidity, uh, the speed of the draw, and the ability to reholster uh, safely. Um, all of them have their advantages and their disadvantages. And so uh, we'll talk about different kinds of holsters in, in future episodes, but let me tell you some things that I look for when I look for a holster for concealed carry. Um, the first thing that I'm looking for is I need the holster to completely encircle uh, or, or cover up the trigger guard area. If it doesn't, uh, it's really no good to me. Uh, if I can get my fingers in from the outside of the holster and manipulate the trigger, then, uh, then it's no good for me. Here, this is, a, this is an airsoft gun, um, and if I can get in there in, in the holster and manipulate the trigger and make it go click, uh, it's no good. Now, mind you, be careful. I mean, don't do this. Obviously, you're not going to do this with a loaded gun. Um, in fact, uh, you don't really need a, a gun to, to, to do this with. You can, for the most part, tell uh, from examining the construction of the holster, uh, you know, is it rigid enough to prevent outside materials from manipulating the, whole, the, the trigger guard area. So the first thing is I want something that completely covers the trigger guard area that prevents me from the outside manipulating the trigger. The second thing I'm looking for is I need the holster to have some, some rigidity to it. Uh, and a good quality holster will do this. Um, a lot of people go, what's the big deal, Brian? I mean, can I buy the, the, the $15 nylon holster? Yeah, you can. I mean, it, it, you can have it, but it's essentially a, a, a pistol pocket. It doesn't really do anything other than physically hold the gun in there. And for a lot of you, you think that that's all it needs to do. And I'm here to tell you it needs to do a lot more than that. Uh, this thing has to hold your gun uh, securely and prevent it from accidentally falling out or uh, coming out if somebody should find it and wrestle you for the gun. And so what I'm looking for uh, in terms of uh, holster strength and rigidity from a good outside the waistband holster is um, if I put the, uh, the gun in the holster and I, and I hold the, the holster, just the holster, not, not touching any part of the gun, does the gun stay in the holster? Uh, this is a, a, a Galco holster, um, and uh, this thing is probably 15 years old, and it's seen a lot of, a lot of wear, and it's still, it's still in pretty good shape. It still holds the gun in there pretty good. Um, here's another um, uh, holster. And again, uh, same kind of thing. Uh, the gun stays inside. It doesn't fall out. Uh, if I flip it upside down, just gravity, just holding onto the holster, does the gun pop out? And be careful when you're doing this test. If you're at home, do it over your bed uh, or over a pillow or something in case the gun comes flopping out. But if, if the gun comes flopping out, uh, especially in an outside the waistband holster, I, I kind of consider it to be kind of a no-go. It's a non-starter for me. So uh, a good holster will have some internal retention to it. Now, um, you're going to get the same thing with the, uh, with the Kydex uh, style holsters. Uh, this, this happens to be one from, uh, from Blade Tech. It's an excellent manufacturer of holsters. And uh, here it clicks in, and you can actually hear that nice solid snap as it's going in. And, and, and literally it ain't coming out. I mean, I can shake this thing all day long, and that gun is staying in there. So if I was running or I bumped up against something, that gun's not accidentally popping out. So... Um, it's an, you know, an important fe feature. Here's another kind of Kydex plastic type holster. Again, it snaps into place. You turn it upside down, the gun stays in place. So, so you have a lot of good holster options, uh, but what I want you to think about is think about you know, that cheap nylon pocket is not the way to go. It's just simply not going to hold up with the level of rigidity that you need 
uh, in your personal defense uh, uh, holster system. Now, for the inside the waistband holsters, again, uh, good options, but I, what I want to look for there is, is does the holster collapse when I draw the gun out? If while it's inside my waistband, if I draw the gun and the holster itself does not have some rigidity and it collapses on itself and I'm unable to reholster the gun effectively, it's probably a no-go for me for an inside the waistband holster. Again, I'm looking for a gun uh, for a holster that um, completely protects the trigger guard, that gives you enough strength and rigidity that if I had to reholster, I could do so. Um, I would be careful about holsters that. Um, require you to do anything that allows you to manipulate the trigger area. So for me, I don't really like uh, holsters that, that uh, um, you know, set me up in a way where I have to have my finger anywhere near the trigger to manipulate the, the gun. Uh, in addition, um, I, I look for holsters that don't make it too hard for me to reholster the gun. If for some reason I had to get the gun out of the holster, uh, I'm looking for a nice, uh, easy, open channel for me to guide that gun in and, and down. If, if for some reason I had to try to twist the gun in there or shimmy it in there, um, that, that open mouth design is not good enough for me. I need something that I can guide the gun right in and, and holster it. Um, and you know, here you get with these blade techs, you actually almost get like, I always refer to it as a runway. It's just kind of this open trench and you can literally just guide the gun. Once it's in this spot, if you can look at the camera, uh, you literally cannot aim the gun at your own body. Once you guide it in there, it just follows right in there, and you can't point it in the wrong direction. So you want something that has a good open mouth, not something you're going to have to shimmy open to get at. Uh, now, at the beginning, I call it a holster component system, and I mean that. Uh, the holster is not the end part of this discussion. The next component is the belt. If your belt is flimsy, you're going to have trouble. Your your holster is simply not going to hold up well in that uh, in that system. Uh, let me give you an example. Here's a typical dress belt, um, and if I if I hold it, hold it up, it just it just you know there, there there's no rigidity here at all. It, it just it's flimsy. It, 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 you know if I try to put it on a table, it would just kind of fold down on itself. And this is typical of what you'd find in with most uh, fashion belts, most dress belts. Um, belts that are designed, that are gun, uh, belts that are, are designed for uh, people to carry guns um, are rigid. Um, here's a dress belt, but this one is from, from Galco. And as you can see, it, it's, it's rigid, it stands up. And, uh, and it, it's, it's literally, I mean, it's strong. And this is actually designed to be a, a, a dress belt. Uh, and I've had this one for a number of years, and it hasn't lost its rigidity. Uh, it's a really good, good quality belt. It actually has a little bit of a, of a curvature to it to make it, make it uh, more comfortable to, to sit on the body. Um, here's another uh, belt from Galco. Again, same thing. You know, see how I'm holding the belt, and see how, the, how straight the belt holds up? It, that's because this belt is designed for people to attach holster components to it, so the holster doesn't sit around and, and, and flop around. Uh, so that's another great belt from Galco. Um, here's one, um, um, I haven't had a chance to, to, to play with this one too much, but this one's actually from Blade Tech. Um, they're getting into the, into the belt business as well. And, uh, and so again, you know, look at me, I'm holding it here from the middle, and the thing is standing straight up. I mean, it's not, it's not collapsing at all. Uh, and, and so this kind of belt will hold your holster in securely, and it will allow it not to flip around. Oops. Uh, if we if we threaded we thread the, the holster in here and we see we see is the holster is, is now super secure it can't move it can't shift around uh, in the uh, on the on the belt line and so if you have to access the uh, the gun the gun is going to be nice and secure here. If someone's uh, fighting with you for the gun, the belt is going to help keep that thing on your body and it's going to help prevent it from, from shimmying loose. If you put this whole system on a dress type belt that is flimsy, oh gosh, that's hard even to pull off. Um, put it on something like this. As I thread it through, uh, I mean, Look at this. I 
can't even I can't even hold it steady. I can't even hold it still. It, th this thing, this thing, if we were in a fight for it, it would be up for grabs. I mean, I can almost it can almost want to turn on itself. And so, get a good quality belt. I can't emphasize enough how important this is. Now, I got you. You're going to be sitting there, and you're going to go take a look online, go do some Google searches, and you go, oh, my goodness, I can't believe how much these belts cost. Um, you know, a typical good quality gun belt is probably going to run you between, you know, $50 and, and $100, and depending on which manufacturers you, uh, you get. Um, but, but let's be real here. Um, uh, you know, you have you have a belt like this. Um, this thing is probably going to last you 10, 15 years. Uh, I mean, I have I have one of these. I have a Galco that, that I've worn uh, pretty consistently for about oh gosh, probably 16 years now, and it's still running strong. I mean, it, it it's got it's got wear and wear and tear on it. Um, it's it's got its fair share of scratches, but it it works well, and and I still use it every day. Uh, and so, uh, you know, if you think about the fact that it's going to last forever, as opposed to those flimsy belts that eventually start to crack and break, um, you know, you, you really can't go wrong with getting good quality. Same thing with a holster. Uh, you know, you just spent three, four, five, or six hundred dollars on a good gun. Uh, does the gun really belong in a fifteen dollar holster? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, go spend the money on a decent quality holster. Good quality holsters are again; they're going to run you between fifty and hundred dollars. But having said that, um, they will last a lifetime. I mean, uh, this one right here uh, that's holding this Glock upside down—you know, I'm not holding onto the gun at all. And uh, even though it's an airsoft gun, it actually has quite a bit of metal parts on it. it has has quite a bit of heft uh, to it, and actually the the magazine is is, is, is quite heavy, uh, considerably heavier than than the actual real Glock magazine. Uh, and it holds it in just fine, and, and gosh, this thing is 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 a senior citizen as far as that's concerned. Uh, it's still running running strong, and, and this is a you know great holster from Galco. So um, you know when you're out and you're you're considering your equipment, uh, don't um, let this be an afterthought for you. Uh, think about how you normally dress in your daily life, and get a good quality holster that's appropriate to your type of concealed carry. Uh, and so. Uh, if you have any questions, send us an email. And uh, this is Brian Hollock from Northwood Training Center. Thanks for listening.